Vinny, not the best season for Northeastern last year, but this year, what can fans expect? Uh, a whole different team, a whole new attitude. Uh, you know, we refocused over the off season. Last season was, you know, left a bitter taste in our mouth, and uh, we put a lot of hard work in, got a lot of new players, a, a new attitude, and uh, it'll be exciting this year. Mm -hmm. Now, what can I'm sure you've had a little bit of time with the freshmen, not too much yet, but what can we? What have you seen from them? Um, there's a lot of talent. We have uh, ten of them, including two transfers. So. You know, a lot of new guys, a lot of new depth to our team, and that's uh, the biggest thing, I think. You know, it'll take them a little time to adjust, but uh, hopefully we can, you know, make that as short as possible. And uh, it'll be exciting to watch them and how they come out. And this is a big incoming class. So what does that do? Does that re-energize you for the new season? Yeah, definitely. Like I said, you know, we, we needed a new attitude, a new focus, and... Uh, you know, you know, bringing in 12 new guys helps that. And, uh, you know, it allows you to just, you know, completely erase what happened last year because we're a completely different team now. And, uh, you know, we're excited about what we have. What kinds of strengths do you see this team having and maybe taking you to postseason play this season? Um, well, you know, we're really experienced at the goaltender position. Uh, we have a lot of depth up front. And, you know, we have a lot of new defensemen, a lot of defensemen that haven't played a lot of minutes. And, you know, that's our goal is to get them as comfortable as we can because, uh, you know, if they're on their game, then uh, the forwards were able to handle the puck more and uh, we have a lot of talent up front. And, you know, if we can get the puck to our forwards, then we'll be really successful. Now, the past couple of seasons for Northeastern, consistency has been the problem. You as an older guy, what can you do to show the team, okay, this is what we have to do, we have to stay in this mindset, how do you remain consistent? Well, I think a big thing about Northeastern is they always play well in big games, but, you know, it's the, it's the teams that, you know, not the BCs, the BUs that, you know, you get pumped up for. And, you know, you come out and you don't play as well as you can. And, you know, last year we went into Michigan, we went into Notre Dame, we went into Minnesota and beat all those teams. And it's easy to get pumped up for those games. And, you know, the games that it's not easy to get pumped up for is, uh, you know, the ones we need to focus on more and the ones we need to win to put ourselves in better positions when it comes time for playoffs and stuff like that. So. And you in particular, this is the goodbye for you. What kinds of things are you focusing on this season? What do you hope to accomplish? Um, yeah, I mean, it's my last year in college hockey. I've been through a lot. I've, you know, I've been on the top. I've been on the bottom of college hockey. And uh, I just want to go out, you know, knowing that I didn't leave anything on the table. And I gave it my best effort every night and made sure my team was ready to play. And, you know, they knew how important it is every night and, uh, you know, how good of a feeling it is when you're winning and when you get to experience things like the NCAA tournament and the Beanpot final and stuff like that. So I think it's just, you know, make sure that I, I leave nothing out there.